Harvest Moon DS Cute. Released in 2007, one of the many iterations of the famous Harvest Moon, now Story of Seasons, franchise. The great, 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 great grandparent of the farming dating simulator, Harvest Moon has a special place in many people's hearts, including mine. But Harvest Moon DS Cute is one of my enemies. Enemy spotted. I'm sure you've heard of Stardew Valley, maybe played it a little, dabbled, or finished perfection in a single game second, as those speedrunners do. But you have not known the pain I have felt for Harvest Moon DS Cute. This game has irked me, haunted me, ever since I first started playing it as a wee child. It gets under my skin, it pulls at my organs, and I am tired of living a life where I have not made the progress I always wanted to make as a kid. Because Harvest Moon is harder than newer games like Stardew Valley. It's especially if you're a romantic at heart like me. Unlike Stardew Valley, getting married in Harvest Moon is nothing short of selling your left lung on the black market. I mean, I spent hours and hours and years and years of my life playing Harvest Moon on the DS and still never managed to get married. In Harvest Moon DS Cute, you need to save the Harvest Goddess and 60 Harvest Sprites in order to get married. As many of you know, marriage in farm simulators is all I care about, and my obsession with pixelated characters pretty much started with this game, and the man I was never able to marry because I couldn't get enough Harvest Sprites to save the Harvest Goddess. I was so close to, at a red heart with 49 of the 60 sprites needed, so close I could taste victory like a virgin pina colada, all for a 2D man. And that man? Was Sky. Oh, brother! I know what you're thinking. Why Sky? Boo. Of the available bachelors, Marlin is the grumpy dude of the group who seems possibly appealing until you find out he loves milk. Like, he just drinks milk for fun. Cause it's good? I don't know, but. It, it just feels like it should be a red flag for me, so it is. Gustavo is great, he's a cool musician, hippie, and all that, lives in a tent, and plays guitar outside sometimes. But I married him in the GameCube version as a kid, and our child had red eyes, and it bothered me so much that I had to restart my game, so I'm kind of scarred in that respect. Then there's Rock, who is almost a legitimate child. He acts like he just recently became a legal drinker, and because of that, he's automatically cool. He's kind of a dick, and is way, way, way too confident. I mean, my man, you have naturally yellow hair. You are not pulling off a jack from Titanic, you're just making a fool of yourself. Then there's the opposite of the spectrum, Carter. He's an older man, and there's nothing wrong with that, except for the fact that he is a dick to his apprentice archaeologist and haughty Flora, and makes her cook all the time. Griffin is the owner of the blue bar in town, and um, I don't really have anything else to say about him, he's just there to me. Sorry Griffin. And then there's special boy Sky. And I'll be honest, though my 11 year old self was in love with this fictional man, I could still roast him for whatever the hell he's wearing. He looks like he's wearing my grandma's pajamas. He looks like he went to a Goodwill, closed his eyes, and picked out whatever his hands touched first. And yet, he is suave. He is slick. He's kind of magical. And best of all, he's a thief. Any fashion disaster tea polls are immediately forgiven if you ask me. And you are asking me because this is my channel and my video, so any slander against Sky will be taken personally. And sadly, in the early 2000s, apparently gay people didn't exist, so Muffy, Lumina, Celia, Nami, Flora, a goddamn witch, and the harvest goddess herself, and a mermaid, all hot to a premium degree? Yeah, they're all ineligible bachelorettes, and I am left to suffer with the dirty scraps. So that is the goal of this. 100 days style video. Free 60 harvest sprites and the harvest goddess and Mary Sky. That's it, but boy, is it mighty difficult. In the first scene of the game, the sprites and goddess get banished by the Harvest King because they call him Baldy. Men are fragile. So now we're stuck doing all the hard work of this playthrough and hating our lives during it. But I had high hopes at the start of this playthrough. Nostalgia coursed through my veins like a drug you just can't quit, and day one had me on a high. The prologue reminded me of the hardships we would have for the rest of the playthrough, and my first day was spent getting the easiest sprites I could, literally just interacting with the waterhole on my farm, clicking on the well and Town, etc. Not all the sprites are this easy though, and you'll see in time. Oh, you'll, oh, you'll all, all see. see.
Another thing I had to focus on in this playthrough was money. A lot of sprites are only unlocked through spending your money on things like barns and tool upgrades, so it was important for me to stash up on the gold as much as I could. And since this game has a save whenever you want mechanic, I abused it. Call it cheating if you want, then fine. I'm no better than Jay-Z, but in this game, I was ready to do anything if it meant marrying Sky. So I scavenged the mines for way too long as I saved and reloaded to make sure I didn't waste any energy. And I collected jewelry like I was ready to start a bougie pawn shop. And boy, was it worth it. Van, the trader who comes in town every once in a while, bought my goods for around 72,000 gold. <laughs> I interacted with the locals, which many of you might not know at all, but there is one doctor in town called Dr. Hardy, and he said daddy, and I never want to interact with him again. And then, finally, it was time to meet the man of the hour, the man of the entire playthrough, Sky. The first event with Sky takes place at the town's mansion, where Lumina, the town nepotism baby, lives. Let's go! Let's go! Hello, beautiful. Walking alone at night? Not alone anymore, am I, Sky? I'm quite the ladies' man. And a prince of the stars. He has a way with words. <gasps> hey, aren't you that famous thief who warns his victims ahead of time? <laughs> Give us the exposition, Lumina. Sorry, but I'm a bit pressed for time. Call me Phantom Sky. Ah, and all the girls go, ah! I have a feeling we'll meet again. It's in the stars. Literally punch me, kill me, steal my heart. Wait right there. Hold up, beautiful. Don't let such raw anger steal away your beauty. Oh, you piece of shit. What a smooth talker. Phantom Sky. Phantom Sky, he, he got away from me. Bruh. Looking back, I kind of hate Sky a little bit, and I hate that I still swoon over him, but that's why that enemies to lovers vibe is there, and it is mm -mm, good. His finger looking good. The scene from day two was so good that I just immediately woke up to day three right after. Sky's beauty literally knocked me out. I did some chores and forgot to mention that I live on the farm with Takakura, my second father, the man watching over me while my dead dad can't. He greeted me by saying my dead dad will kill him if I don't work hard enough. So I worked hard till I was blue in the face. Yo, listen up. Sorry. On day four, I was still deeply affected from my first meeting with Sky. I woke up at 8 a.m. instead of 6, and I was not doing well physically. Who knew one interaction with a man could make me so weak? That night, I took myself to the Blue Bar, operated by Hotties Griffin and Muffy, and from indulging in my Moo Moo milk, I saved another Harvest Sprite. My first crops were ready on day five, and I was truly starting to feel like an actual farmer, and not just a cheat who drags her feet around the mines like an off-brand and way less cool Indiana Jones. I also had my dumb dog around to show people in town, since you get more friend points for doing so. I also tried befriending the evil scientists in town. Yeah, we have one of those, but he wasn't home. And then I tried befriending the bartender Muffy, but she doesn't like dogs? And now the hottie hates me! Which is probably for the best because if she did like me, I would trail after her like a puppy dog myself. We must stay focused, brothers. That night, I finally met Sky again. He was absent from the valley for a while after being caught red-handed at the local mansion, but finally came back to wander the streets and plan his next heist. I gave him sunblock, even though it was nighttime, and the idiot I am gave him all eight in my inventory instead of just one. I called my dog the idiot all day, but no, it, it was me. At least his skin will stay as pale as a ghost's ass for the rest of his life. On day six, I had a rainy day, which meant we were just chillin'. But I did get a fishing rod from Gallon, an older man who lives on the outskirts of town and wears a hairnet even though he has no hair. Because it was raining, Sky didn't show up that night, but I did get to see Celia, the helper on the competing farm, Marlin, milk lover, and Gots, the construction worker that lives in the neighboring mineral town. He's hot too. Sorry. Just saying. It's safe to say that I made big bucks on day seven. Though before I sold, I thought Van was gonna say, I've got a great ass. Which to be fair, he does. Hey, what you doing out here with all this ass? Double cheeked up on a Thursday afternoon. After that, I unlocked the sprite who mans the gambling room inside the harvest tree. Oh, right. To explain, the harvest sprites live in a huge tree with a door on it near the goddess pond. I guess no one tries to go in there even though the path leads right to it. And after I unlocked the gambling sprite, I went ahead and played some memory in the 
Sprite Casino. I also unlocked the system where I can hire sprites to do work for me. I can't do it yet because I'm poor, but it will be helpful in the future. Also, here's a fever dream memory from my childhood, even though you didn't ask. When I was in the height of my sky obsession, besides right now, I would wait at night outside of the blue bar pretending I was a bodyguard. Please, I am... <laughs> I know. Then, when I knew Sky was scheduled to arrive in town, I'd run across the bridge and meet him on the road to Mineral Town. I swear, I was so invested in this man, it wasn't even funny! And tonight, he hit me with the line, It's a nice night, it makes your beauty stand out. And just absolutely shut up! I don't care if he pickpocketed me while saying that, it was worth it all the same. On day 8, I did some more mining and also saw a lizard thing? I don't know who or what put that there, and I don't want to know. For the next day, I decided to put in the work, aka cheat the system. At a thousand items shipped, Takakura gives you a ghost. A what did I just say? He doesn't give you a ghost. Takakura gives you a horse. So I sold all the weeds I have. I also bought a record at the Harvest Sprite Tree and unlocked another sprite. And I gambled the night away. I met Sky at the Goddess Pond that night and he asked if I followed him there. Yeah, but I did. What are you gonna do about it? Steal more of my sunblock? In all seriousness though, fictional men are more attractive the more mysterious and slightly morally ambiguous they are. Just saying. On day 10, I collected weeds. Hey yeah! Hit rocks and gave Sky a gift. I got another sprite from filling my watering can on day 11 and also gave the creepy Docty Hardy Docty Hardy Docty Hardy Docty Hardy grass as a gift. He asked if I aimed to live long. Is that a threat, Mr. Hardon? Yep. I also hired the sprites to help me water crops because that shit was knocking me out. It also would give me a chance to focus on mining and getting more money so I can be the sugar mama disguised thief. I hate that I just said that. First thing in the morning, I got another sprite. That's the difference between me and you. Because while you were sitting around, waiting, doing niche, I was out making moves. And I sold to my man Van and reached 300k! I met with Sky as the rich farmer I am, and he admitted that he likes how quiet the valley is, and suddenly, suddenly I'm so quiet. I agree, Sky. The valley is so, so quiet. In fact, that I can't even hear my own thoughts, and I will never speak again if you ask me to. Day 13 was a bit of a shock because I walked out to the mayor on my doorstep. He said, Here's the ball you lost. This ball was literally in my house. How the frick did you get that, Mayor Thomas? Were you in my house? I guess the mayor breaking in proved to be a good thing because my dumb dog can play fetch with the ball that was already in the house to begin with. I also got another sprite today by selling my patitties. And I called the supermarket where Karen works in Mineral Town and bought a basket. She said she placed the basket in front of my house and I don't know how she would have done that. Like I said, she lives in the town over over, and the basket showed up right after I called her. I couldn't help but imagine her speeding over to my house, placing the basket, then catching her breath while hiding in my doghouse. Now that is good customer service. I also bought a love bangle from the Harvest Sprites, which helps me keep an eye on my friendship and romance levels with everyone in town. On day 14, I got the horse! I also had to water my crops for the Sprites because they suck at their job, but to be fair, I only just saved a lot of them from their state of purgatory, so it makes sense why they have no motivation or skill. I cracked open a mine with my superior back muscles and, of course, gave Sky a gift. On day 15, I woke up and immediately dropped a potato on the ground. Nuh uh. On day 15, I woke up and didn't drop a potato on the ground. And I also upgraded my hammer over the phone with the Mineral Town Hottie Gray. Then I unlocked another Harvest Sprite from buying from the supermarket 10 separate times. This sprite unlocked the TV channel, which means I can buy exclusive furniture, like the coffee table. Because I'm rich, I didn't hesitate to buy it. I may not have a bathroom, but I do have a place to put coffee. I don't really know what it's for, but whatever. Am I a joke to you? It was raining on day 16, so I strained my eyes by mining all day. That morning, Potpourri from Mineral Town showed up to tell me there's a duck festival tomorrow. But unless I show up dressed as a duck, I can't participate. So, looks like I'm out of luck. On day 17, I got my very useful coffee table, but because it was a holiday, I not only had to water crops myself, but I also couldn't sell to Van because everything is closed. But it was my first ever festival! Muffy said she wants to be as pretty as a duck! Which, um, what? On day 18, I bought the Teleport Stone from the Harvest Brights, and this is such a game changer, especially for my lazy ass. Now my horse is pretty much useless, and I am the most obnoxious person in town. The strange farmer who is not only rich in less than a month, but appears in places out of nowhere. <laughs>
Speaking of rich, I bought myself a coop from Gots and also got a sprite from Smashing Stones. I woke up to Gots on my doorstep. And unlike Stardew, I have to know exactly where I want this shed because I can't move it. Then I hit some more rocks and got another sprite, which is great and all, except that the sprites I hired aren't doing their goddamn job, so I have to pick up the scraps and almost die for it. When I tried to get drunk at the bar, Oh, that's not what it- that's not what my notes say, but I guess that's true also. When I tried to get a drink at the bar, my man Grant told me how pathetic he is. And dude, I don't know what you want from me. I'm literally blue in the face right now. I don't think you need to tell me how pathetic you are. But then the highlight of my night was seeing Sky at the Goddess Pond, and knowing we're almost halfway to a purple heart. In the morning of day 20, I spent five minutes throwing my dog around, because I thought I could get a sprite- from doing it. I didn't. Please help! So I felt bad. But I felt even worse when I opened my door and- Whoa! Oh! My... God. If you thought the governor and Stardew was bad, look at Gourmet. I mean, that is a full-on Muppet. I wouldn't be surprised if he turned around and there was a hand up his ass. Anyway, the cooking festival is tomorrow, and to make matters worse, the mayor came again and said I lost my ball. The same ball that was in my house! Sir, I swear to you, I have any and all balls still with me. Thank you very much. On day 21, I accidentally littered again, and the witch showed up. Yeah, there is a witch in this game, and she lives in the shed next to the mansion. Please keep up with the lore that I didn't do you the liberty of explaining at all. Anyway, she basically said, congrats, you're a piece of shit litterer. And she had a gift for me, but because my hands were full, I couldn't take it. So not only am I a litterer, but I'm giftless. Then I went to the cooking festival after, and I met some new folks. There's Murray, who's like the Linus of Harvest Moon, except he doesn't have a tent and is actually homeless, which is so dark. Gourmet screamed in my face, and Ruby, the owner of the town inn, won the festival. The morning of day 22, I got another sprite. I also bought a clock from the TV channel, even though I desperately need a cabinet for my hoarder tendencies to be supported. And I upgraded my axe and, of course, gave a gift to my future husband. On day 23, my bird shed was finally done and so was my axe. I bought my first ever chickens and named them both variations of Sky. This is my form of manifesting me actually finishing this and marrying him. You can call me crazy, but you're still gonna have to call them Sky and Sky. But also, Potpourri delivered my new chicks to the entrance of the ranch and not even the coop. <laughs> What the fuck? What kind of service is this? I decided to buy the house upgrade as well and went to gather my new chickens and I, I accidentally hit my chicken with a hammer. And because of this incident, I drowned my sorrows at the blue bar. Don't try this at home, kids. I got my clock on day 24 so I can stare at it and think even harder about how much time I'm wasting playing this game to try to marry a fictional 2D character. Then Gots came to do his work on my house and said it'll take three days and to keep my fingers crossed. Are you a good builder, gods, or should I be worried for my well-being? I went to the mines on day 25 and got silver to upgrade my hammer. Maybe if the color's different, my chicken won't go into shock at the sight of it. I got my first eggs on day 26 and later on went to get a drink at the bar. No, I'm not an alcoholic. If I get 50 drinks at the bar, I unlock a sprite. I'm telling you, it's true. When I was there, I got a cutscene with the bar owner Griffin and took some strange juice from him. Please don't do this in real life. Day 27 was Nina's birthday. Nina is the old lady in town, married to fishnet wearer Gallon. She's a super sweet character, and if you get her to enough friend points, she'll knit you a stocking for the winter holiday. In other words, the only reason I'm being nice to her is to get something in return. I am I a great am influence. Great. I did some other chores, got drinks at the bar, and checked out the local mansion before getting a scene with the witch. And goddess, how I wish I could marry women in this game. But then again, she and the harvest goddess are already deep in a slow burn enemies to lovers relationship, and I wouldn't want to be the one to rain on that parade. <laughs> I gave Lumina a great gift on day 28, and it fucked some rocks up. I wished I could fuck Sky up, if you know what I'm saying. I'm sorry, I wrote it down, I had to say it. I walked out on day 29 and met Kai. Oh! Oh! I forgot Kai was an illegible bachelor. Kai owns a stand on the beach, and he only comes around the valley for the summer month. 
All you can eat, don't mind if I freaking do. Since Kai is sticking around and I like keeping my options open, I bought some pineapple seeds for summer. They sell for a lot and Kai loves them. He only stays for a season, so if I want to get on his good side, I gotta shove pineapples in his face every time we cross paths. I guess what I've learned from this is that I love a challenge. A guy who only comes to town during summer? Uh-huh. A thief who terrorizes the town and steals from local businesses and who only shows up on sunny days past 10 p.m.? Marry me. I set up some fence on the farm and got harassed at the blue bar and realized I completely forgot to check the shopping channel for a shelf, aka more storage. Luckily, the shelf was still available to buy on the first day of... Summer already and it feels like this playthrough is flying by. I had a mix of all the hope in the world and absolutely no faith in myself, but the festival of the day distracted me and I went with a blue face, hoping Kai's food would regain some health. And it didn't help at all. I should have been like the town's crazy scientist Daryl and filled my bag full of food, or like MILF Chris who wants to bring home leftovers. I had to eat 10 raw potatoes to get back to normal health and didn't even finish watering my, my crops for the day. I love farming. On day 31 I prayed to the harvest sprites. I pray that they would do the job that I'm paying them for and water my crops for me. I upgraded my watering can and spent the day collecting grass and berries like the cottagecore princess I am. And I went home to see that the sprites did not in fact do their job. If I didn't need to save 60 of you to get married, I wouldn't hesitate to let you rot. <laughs> I got my shelf on day 32 and saw that the next day was supposed to be stormy, unlike Stardew and some newer farming simulators. Storms in this game can mean that your animals will literally die. I remember my sister had her barn crash during a storm and all of her animals perished. It was traumatizing. So knowing that the storm could possibly be deadly, I hired Gots to build me an animal barn. He'll be fine. At the bar that night, I spoke to Nami, another one of the bachelorettes that made me question my sexuality as a child. She nearly broke the fourth wall. Yes, people do follow a certain coded schedule, Nami. It makes it easier for insane people like me to find them. I could do absolutely nothing on day 33 because of the storm, and I realized I forgot to feed my chickens, so screw me, I guess. My fences and crops got... KO'd after the storm, but at least my animals didn't die, I guess. But not everything was hopeless. Because I got Sky's Purple Heart! Heart event, here we come! On day 35, all I wanted was Sky's Heart event, but instead, I got Potpourri on my doorstep asking if I wanted to participate in the upcoming Chicken Festival. It's basically an event where they judge your chicken based on how much it loves you. So I thought, why not join? I also got another sprite today while watering crops, which kept my spirits high. And I got a heart event with the town hippie and music lover, Gustafa. As I mentioned before, Gustafa was my first husband in Harvest Moon, A Wonderful Life. So I thought I owed it to my past husband to have a chat by the turtle pond. He told me how proud he is of his music and asked if I'm proud of what I do. Now, standing at this pond, I, I remember the old days playing the GameCube and purposefully searching him out in my past life, listening to him play his music outside in the flower fields, sneaking into his hut to read his diary and see if he loved me. <coughs> Anyway, Sky, Sky, I gave a gift to Sky, of course. On day 36, Sky was standing strong and tall. No, not my future husband, Sky the chicken. So at the festival, Rick, Popery's brother and one of the workers at the Mineral Town Ranch, asked me, what kind of chicken is my chicken? Uh -huh. What do you mean, what kind of chicken is it, Rick? It's a fucking chicken. And then the festival went off without a hitch. Boo, 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 Charla, you suck. You suck eggs. Let's go right this way. Go Sky! Let's go Sky! Woo! And now for the results. The rankings are... First place, Char... Charla? That's... <gasps> Sky got fourth place! That is so embarrassing! Oh my god! Kate! I feel terrible! And then this little... Fucking shit, Katie called me a loser. It glared at me with her red ass eyes and she is evil. Everyone's like, better luck next time. Cheer up, you tried your best. Meanwhile, Kate might as well have slaughtered my chicken in front of me. So I'll go collect grass. Fucking loser I am. I got a refrigerator on day 37. Look, I know it doesn't seem all that great, but now I don't have to carry around 35 potatoes anymore. I bought a bunch of tools over the phone for my future cows and sheep, and on the way out of the Harvest Sprite tree, I got a rival love scene between Rock, the local himbo surfer dude, and Lumina, the Nepo baby. And that's another super fun thing about this game. The romances have rival romances. So if you don't marry someone in time, you have to compete against their other love interest. And when you 
you get married, the other marriage candidates get married too. And the kids in town, including your kid, grow up. I've never experienced any of this, of course, because I never got far enough in the game. But, friendly reminder that if you're interested in seeing that, you can like the video and let me know in the comments. My animal shed was ready on day 38, and so was my newly upgraded watering can. But when I spoke to the sprites on the farm, I got hot. Gas! Misty the Sprite said that the other day, a girl slapped Rock on the cheek. Rock got put in his place! Also, I love that these sprites suck at their job, but they're great at eavesdropping on the locals. Oh my god, they were roommates. I bought one cow and one sheep, and named both of them Sky, of course, and had to spend practically all day bringing them to the barn, because again, the service here is shit. I also hired Gots for a silo, then gave Kai and Sky a gift. Day 39 was summer 10th, which is Sky's birthday. I couldn't wait to see him tonight to give him a gift, but before that, I got a scene with evil Kate and Sweetie Hugh. The conversation literally started with her calling him an idiot. They decided to do a rhyming contest, and I watched as poor Huey tried to rhyme grapes and apples. God, someone put this kid on a leash! She said, I don't play with dummies. I'm leaving. You know what, Kate? I do play with dummies. Huey, I'll play with you. I'll play anything with you. Except for Connect Four. I finally gave Sky his birthday gift, and it raised him a thousand points. One step closer to Smooch Town. I rushed through day 40 because I'm just waiting for Sky's heart event. On day 41, I did the usual, and then I saw a scene between Flora and Carter. It was kind of a major ick because she cooked for him, and he was not appreciative. I'll eat your curry rice, Flora. I'll appreciate you and treat you right. I also got a sprite today for being a badass bitch and slamming rocks like it's my job. My silo finished on day 42. I also upgraded my hoe, then went to the bar with my uncle, father's BFF, guardian. I don't know who Takakura really is, but it reminded me that it was Griffin's birthday. So I got him a flower and accidentally littered right in front of him. One of the most embarrassing nights in my life, no lie. Day 43 was the day of my second ever Sky Heart event. Sky's events are pretty unique. All of his scenes are usually introed by a mini scene with his uh, victims, and they ask you to return later to help catch him in the act. Our first stop, the blue bar. Let's go! We just received a notice from Phantom Sky. <gasps> I'm gonna bless your bar with my presence at midnight for a drink, Phantom Sky. And sending a notice of his arrival makes me think he's quite confident. I kind of like that. Anyway, he is a thief, so we gotta corner him. That's right. We'll make him pay gold for that drink. That's not what I meant. I'm kidding. Do you have some time tonight, Rin? We could really use your help to catch that arrogant thief. I'd be glad to help. I'm gonna fucking kill this guy. I, mean, I had to return later that night at 10 p.m. to catch my love. I mean, my enemy. I collected grass and hit stones all day in preparation so that I had muscles that Sky might like. Then I watched everyone leave the bar and made my entrance. Let me reiterate something. Sky's thief name is Phantom Sky. <laughs> Why do I smell curry? Yes, that smells so good. Bro, where are you going? Surprise, bitch. Ah! We meet again, my darling. Rin! Oh my god, wait, actually? Do you believe that fate has drawn us together? No. I'm here to catch you. Being chased after my maiden seems to be a curse of mine. Buddy, you better watch your back. Anyway, I wonder if you could just hold still for a moment. Oh, chick beam fire! You're under sky spell. You can't move a muscle. We use suspension of disbelief and willful ignorance for a lot of this, all right? I was forced to watch him steal stuff from my spot and, you know, I might as well make some conversation, right? Why are you a thief? I don't know why. You don't know why? So I poked him some more. I egged him on. It's just for fun, I said. He said, that might be it. And that might not be it. He is the biggest fuckboy, I swear. He's just like that mysterious guy in Moody's Point who says riddles and walks off with romantic hot music. Is anything wrong? Is anything right? You want to know more about me, don't you? But if I simply tell you, it'll take the mystique out of our relationship. Shut the fuck up. I'll tell you anything you 
want? No, you don't understand. You just don't understand. This is so, this is so, uh, this is so much. Then finally, Muffy and Griffin came back and Sky said, got a jet, which kind of ruined the whole mysterious vibe, but whatever, it's fine, we moved past it. Griffin, after learning I was paralyzed by a spell, said, that's the phantom for ya. Wow, this has just been such a pleasure. The next morning I got my silver hoe. Sadly, it was not the silver hoe named Sky. And finally, the kitchen was for sale. I bought it and also upgraded my hammer to gold. Then I gave Kai a gift and also gave a gift to Daryl, the scientist. And I noticed that today he seemed a bit more open to talking to me. So I moseyed on over to the hatch inside his house. And what did I find? A freaking mermaid in his basement! Oh lord, how I wish I could marry women in this game! Basically, Daddy Daryl saved Leah from a typhoon that got her washed ashore. She'd apparently been cooking for him as repayment, but if she lived under the sea, doesn't she just eat, like, raw fish? Who cares? We're besties with a mermaid now. Bucket list checked off. I could finally milk my cow on day 45, and I got my golden hammer. Then I gave my two love interests their gifts. On day 46, I got the kitchen, but since I have no appliances, I can't really cook much. But I did get Kai to a purple heart and got his scene. During the scene, he asked if him patting my back was too much for me, and I love that he cared enough to ask. I am gonna throw up. After that, I hit some rocks and accidentally <laughs> hit my chicken again. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. After doing chores on day 47, I stopped by Kai's room at the end and he told me how creepy the mayor is. And finally, someone else noticed! I also bought a new cow named Sky. On day 48, Rick was at my door asking if I want to participate in the cow festival. I said yes, even though I had literally 0.05% chance of winning. Then I cut some branches to try to wrangle up a sprite and actually got one. On the day of the festival, I did some chores and ended up getting another sprite. When I got to the festival, the mayor said my cow was amazing. Chris did some math, saying my cow had has a 99% chance of winning? Well, Chris, if it ends up being that 1%, I will commit a felony. And as they revealed the contestants, I thought in my heart that there was no way any of these posers could be with me. What? Lyle won? Sky got fourth? Are you milking my freaking otters? This better be a joke! Chris just said, uh-oh. Yeah, girly, you got the math wrong. Do not ask Chris to do your taxes. I got a sprite on the morning of day 50 doing who the hell knows what. Then I finally had pineapples ready and went to give one to Kai and got his cutscene instead. He asked me what my favorite season is. And since I'm here to flirt and not be honest, I said summer. Summer is the dog shit of seasons in actuality. But Kai was so excited and he said we might have a lot in common and that made me feel bad for lying. But this is like those rom-coms where there's one love interest that is sweet and totally capable, but the main character, me, chooses the one she has more chemistry with, Sky. So we had to add this to the plot even though it hurts. It was Kai's birthday on day 51, so I gave him his favorite and got him to a blue heart. I cannot believe I was at a higher relationship with Kai than Sky. I needed to get a cooking pot for my kitchen fast so I can make Sky's favorite food. I will not be caught slacking on my thief husband. On day 52, I put down an egg to hatch a chicken on my own and hopefully not hit it with a hammer. Then I got a scene with Rock. He asked if I was quiet because I was taken aback by his beauty. And I'm sorry, but this is hilarious. I can't believe that calling him disgusting is an option. Like there is no middle option. It's just I love you or you're disgusting. And of course I had to see what happened if I called him disgusting. He was so upset and I felt really bad, but oh well, he's annoying. <laughs> But then he told me to leave the beach. But you don't own sand. Get a life. Anyway, I went back and gave Kai another pineapple and also got a scene with him. How can Rock act like he's the best when Kai is literally standing right there? In Kai's scene, he offered to give me a ton of leftovers. But before I could take it, Murray showed up. He asked if he could have it. And I had the option to tell Murray, the single homeless man in the town, to get a job. How awful would that be? Telling him to get a job when there's plenty of room in the town villa for him to live? Of course. Of course I gave him the food, and Kai said, You've got a generous heart, Rin. I like that in a girl. <coughs> Unlike Sky, who takes things away, I give. This love story is just writing itself. The sweet guy who only shows up in the summer. The summer fling, summer romance, versus the thief who plagues the town and shows up at nighttime. The thief who is stealing my heart. <coughs> Day 53 was the firework festival. After doing chores and everything, I went off to the beach. And since I don't have anyone here at a green heart, I had to watch the fireworks with the two old man twins in town that eerily resemble Danny DeVito. On day 54, I did my usual chores and gift gave to Sky. On day 55, I got another sprite from chopping some stumps. The sprite's name was Pierre. Ew! 
Go back to where you came from! I almost died, and then I cracked a cold one with the boys. And then I gave Sky his skin lotion, and I got to a blue heart! Heart event, here we come! A new baby chicken was born on day 56. The first chicken born and bred on the farm. I'm gonna name it something really special. <laughs> I pet my cat with this special glove thing and I unlocked another sprite. And then, because I was already on a roll, I decided to unlock another one from throwing weeds in my horse's saddle. And one from fishing from my water hole. And now, I was a little over halfway to getting married. Plus, I got another sprite from chores. And then I gave Kai a pineapple and got him to a green heart. I am a love genius. For day 57, I got the third heart event for Sky. This time, his target was Flora and Carter and their precious artifacts from the mine. Anyway, Flora and Carter needed help to make sure he didn't steal their artifacts, so of course I'll help, so I can see my crush again, I mean, so I can catch the thief with you guys. In the interim of the heart event, I shoved my dog in Flora's face so I can befriend her and unlock the hot springs. Then, I returned to the scene of the crime to get the rest of my heart event. Phantom Sky was a bit late this time, but then Carter got really angry, thinking Sky was at the dig site stealing. They ran off and left me in the tent when, of course, Sky showed up and he said he wouldn't use his magic this time. I mean, what the fuck does that mean? I sent a note today, but I'm not here to steal anything. I came to see you. <laughs> And I was like, you know, do I play hard to get? But then I was like, you know what? If my character is really against stealing, they would say yes to hang out with him just to stop him from stealing. So I said, yes, I want to spend time with him. And why don't we go somewhere else? Those other two could be back any minute. Shut up. Shut up. The ocean is especially beautiful tonight. Maybe it's because you're by my side. Shut the fuck up. He started talking about curry and how he likes to cook it a lot, but it's always missing something. And of course, I told him it's because he isn't cooking with love. And before we left, he said, I hope you'll try my curry next time I make some. And I don't know if that was a metaphor, but I took it as one. Sky, for the first time, didn't steal. He is the definition of I can fix him. Except I actually can. And on day 58, I decided to give up wooing Kai. Not because I don't like him anymore, or because summer is over, but because I ran out of pineapples. As quoted from my notes during my playthrough, on day 59, I did chores, cut branches, got a sprite. I upgraded my watering can and gave Kai an egg as a parting gift. Then I gave Leia a birthday gift and giggled profusely when I saw Sky that night. Ooh, On the first day of fall, I was having mixed feelings about the playthrough. I still needed to get Sky's heart up, and to do that, I needed a cooking pot to make him curry. But I also still needed about 25 sprites to get married. I had hope, but it was dwindling. I spent the day planting my crops and ended it with a gift to my thief, Sky. On day 61, I hatched another baby chickie. I did my chores, and then I went to the mines to try to unlock the next one. After many hours and many strange liquids, with courage drinks that Van sold me out of his own warm pocket, I made it to the last level. Guts the sprite told me, I got to the last level, but I don't get anything special. Except an evil chick! <laughs> kill it! Kill it with an axe! Murder it! They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine, and you're not really fine. Then I bought an upgrade for my hammer, and a new outfit to show off to Sky, and finally unlocked the second mine. On day 62, I got my Mistral Hammer, which is the highest type of hammer, and goddess damn it, Thomas, stop breaking into my house and taking my balls! Nice. On day 63, I started the search for secret sprites hidden in the soil. I had to not only till the land, but water it and hope I found something. It was like a sick game of hide and seek, and I didn't even find any. That night, I gave Sky a gift and decided to follow him and see where he went. Usually, he goes to the goddess pond, but tonight he started walking to the streets of the valley, mumbling about his plans and possible exits and entrances to homes. Isn't he just so dreamy? I did more physical labor on day 64, trying to find the gosh darn sprites with no luck. And then on day 65, I bought an oven. Yay adulthood. Ew. That's like, what am I, a millennial? <laughs> I bought crops from the other farmer in town, Vesta, and searched high and low for the hidden sprites. Got none. On day 66, I finally found one of the 
hidden soil sprites. To be honest, it wasn't worth it. And then I showed Flora my dog some more, and she's now officially my friend. But when I talked to her, she said she's been waiting for me. And there is nothing straight about that. Gay rights. I woke up on day 67 to the news that the Harvest Festival is tomorrow, where everyone brings ingredients to make a stew. I also got a sprite from selling a bell pepper, and I swear, if I didn't have the Fogu guides up constantly while playing this game, I wouldn't know a single damn thing. On day 68, I went to the Harvest Festival and chatted up the locals. I put the best vegetable in the stew, a potato, and went home on a full stomach. On day 69, you'll, you'll never guess what vegetable I got. <laughs> Did you guess eggplants? Cause it was eggplants! You're not ashamed of yourself. Are you not embarrassed? I got a sprite from petting my cows and then I cracked yet another one with the cold boys at the boys at the cold in the bar. On day 70, I got another sprite from talking to my animals. I was whispering, don't you think Trainwreck by Demi Lovato is an underrated hit? The rest of the night, I hit some sticks and stones, which did break my bones. Owie. On day 71, I decided I would start working towards paying for a basement. In this game, the basement acts as greenhouses. Basically, you have to unlock the third mine and find things called suns, which basically power your basements to be greenhouses for certain seasons. So if you find a spring sun, you can plant spring crops in your basement, etc. It would be helpful money-wise to have, and also I just want to see what it's like because I've never had one before. I finally unlocked the pot. Um, on the TV shopping channel on day 72. So I can finally cook Sky tons of curry and get his hearts up faster than one of those inflatable men on a windy day. And I officially hit 40 sprites, only 20 more to get married. My childhood self is doing flips and not breaking her neck, which is a victory. On day 73, I started to become a kind of sorcerer myself because I manipulated the weather report. Look, if saving before bed and reloading means I can make sure it'll be a sunny day to see Sky, I'm gonna do it. I'm committed to the bit and to my future marriage. That night, I waited for Sky at our obligatory meeting spot and I got him to a green hot. On day 74, my pot came in the mail. Three Day free shipping, thank you very much. So I spent the day cooking. Though by spent the day cooking, I mean I stood in my house frozen in time and cooked. In this game, time stops once you go inside a building. It is a lifesaver at points, even though it makes zero sense. You just go with this kind of thing. It was awkward that night as I waited for Sky, Curry in my back pocket, because this other guy came through, and I had to avoid eye contact because sorry buddy, this ain't for you. Okay. Complete transparency, I started recording this video in summer and took a break. And at this point, it was January. I'm telling you, even with all of my skill and capability, ah! I'm still struggling to get married in this game. But back on track, and I got the next scene with Sky. You came at a good time, Rin. A note from Phantom Sky just arrived. Ah! At 12 midnight, I shall help myself to your crops. Yours truly, Phantom Sky. Sky, help yourself to my crops any time. You know that this field is tilled and watered and ready to go. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Give me a break. We can't do much with just the three of us. Would you help us nab that crook, Rin? God, this is great. This is great. Of course I will. We need you here sometime between 10 and 12 tonight. Got it. I'll be here, guys. Don't wait up for me. <laughs> okay, it's time. <laughs> we'll get that lily liver thief tonight. What does that even mean, Vesta? I don't know, but you're too cool to argue. Maybe we need a strategy since this farm is so huge. We'll split up in twos, hide in different areas, and then ambush him. So, Celia and Marlin, I want you two to take that field. All right, they're going by the scarecrow, got it. And uh, Rin and I will hide in the opposite field. Look at us. <gasps> there he is. Hi, Sky. Look at all the eggplants around. That cannot be a coincidence. So you're all waiting to ambush me tonight. You ain't getting your grimy paws on my veggies. <laughs> The grimy paws, huh? Those grimy paws? Those paws have not seen a day of work in their life. Don't let such raw anger steal away your beauty. You, you, you! Honestly, yeah, fuck you, Sky. That was so- But still, I'm blushing. Surrender, please stop stealing. What do I say? Please, Sky, this isn't you. Sky, look at me. Sky, look at me. This isn't you, Sky. <laughs> Are you worried about me? Well, don't be. It's not my time to be caught. Oh! Oh! Chick beam! Fire! I don't even- What's happening? I can't move! <laughs> My work is done here. Time to jet. He's leaving? What? <gasps> He's going to the other field! Looks like I'm extra popular tonight. Guy, shut up! 
I hate you when I get more and more embarrassed every time I see a scene with you because I can't believe how infatuated I was with you, but also how infatuated I still am. Hold it, you thief. Hee <laughs> hee. Sky! Hey, back off, pretty boy. I don't want to be caught by a man. Where's the mystique in that? Sky knows his aesthetic and he doubles down on it. Oh my god, I could see the Marlin and Sky fanfiction already creating itself. Chick beam fire! Celia? I, I can't I can't move. You'll be able to move soon. So his powers only work on women? Kinda weird. Kinda weird. We didn't get the Phantom Thief! And it's all my fault. Yeah, it is your fault, Marlin. Should have done more than just stand there and have a piece of hair in your eyes. Maybe if that piece of hair wasn't in your eyes, you'd be able to see the thief and where he went. On day 76, I did some chores and sadly didn't get to meet with Sky because he was laying low because he's a hot criminal. I got another sprite on day 77 from brushing animals and on day 78, I hired my sprites to water my crops for the last time of the season. They were doing well recently, don't get me wrong, but in winter, it's best to hire the sprites for fishing. That Way I can unlock some more sprites through their hard work and labor. I woke up on day 79 to Rick on my doorstep, telling me that tomorrow is the sheep festival. If my sheep doesn't win, I will stab Rick. And then I realized. I didn't know that a shorn sheep couldn't enter the festival. I mean, what the fuck? Why didn't anyone tell me this? I can't enter Sky in the festival. I guess Rick needs to be stabbed. Where's Rick? Uh, I mean... Don't just... care. Where's Rick? The mayor asked me if I was working hard. I wanted to shave the mustache off his face with my shears and tell him, Oh, mayor, I'm sorry you can't attend the festival because your mustache is short. Sucks to suck! That night I just waited for Skye because I'm pathetic and sad and I need my emo thief boy to cheer me up. But to my surprise, I got the flora scene where she found a treasure map and asked me to look for the treasure with her. But it wasn't treasure and instead I finally unlocked the hot springs. Perfect timing! Now I can drown myself before the sheep festival tomorrow. I hated my life on day 80. I went to the hot springs and got a sprite from putting my fishing pole in it and the guy freaking badgered me like I didn't already have a hard enough life. And I thought about skipping the festival but I'm too much of an asshole to not go to the festival and boo the other contestants. Boo! You suck! At the festival, Nami said, Do sheep like to be sheared? I wonder. Yeah, me too, Nami! I mean, my sheep does! But Rick over here is a bit! Day 81 was a blah day. Chores, gift, blah. Then day 82, I unlocked Mars for shipping 300 crops. I also upgraded my watering can to Mistral, and once I use it, I can unlock yet another sprite. On day 83, I bought cabbage seeds and watered them and unlocked another sprite, and then somehow I got another one for watering 5,000 tilled spaces? Sometimes? You just hit a complete drought of not getting sprites, and then all at once the floodgates open wide. There was a wild dog on my property the next night trying to kill my chickens! How dare someone try to harm my precious animals! They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. I had a rough day on day 85, trying to cook but using the wrong tool, getting exhausted easily, and then before meeting Sky, I took a break in the hot spring so he didn't think I was in the cast of the new Avatar movie. I did usual chores on day 86, and because I missed Marlin's birthday, I gave him one of my spare milks. You make me sick. I thought it was Nina's birthday on day 87 for some reason, so I gave her the wool for my sheep that cost me the sheep festival win. I'm glad it went someplace good and wholesome. I'm also glad that I don't have to stare at it anymore and grit my teeth in anger. On day 88, I gave Murray a birthday gift, and he said some very cryptic stuff, but I just pretended it was normal for both of our sakes. Day 89 was the last day of fall, meaning I had to deal with the weather for tomorrow, also known as the start of winter. This month was going to be a battle with Mother Nature, but I was ready! But today was the pumpkin festival, a day where you give out candy to the kids in town. Knock knock, it's Kate, uh oh. She's in my house, this is not how trick-or-treating works, Kate. Oh my god. Burr, I'm so cold, hold me, Sky. <laughs> Ew. The start of winter meant a change in focus. Since I didn't have any crops or basements, I knew I would be more focused on the animals and mining. And because of that, I bought myself a new cow and named it, you guessed it, Sky. I upgraded my axe to Mistral and hired the sprites to fish for me. And now that it's winter, white grass starts to show up around town. That was the last ingredient I needed to cook Sky finest curry, one of his favorite items. Then I gave Muku Muku a flower. Oh, you don't know Muku Muku? The monster that shows up in winter and lives near the harvest goddess pond? 
fake fan. Then I cooked the finest curry in the entire forget-me-not valley. Sky will literally drool over this and over me, and our marriage is pretty much in the bag now if I can keep this shit up. Did I not just say he'd drool over this? If I were Pinocchio, my nose would never grow because I don't lie. On day 91, the mayor showed up on my doorstep asking for a favor. I was anticipating this moment because you can get a sprite from completing the favor correctly. The only catch is that what the mayor asks for is completely random, and it could be super rare if you have shit luck. But luck was on my side, and he asked for something manageable. And then I got a scene from Muku Muku, and he scared the shit out of me. I also abused the system and kept entering and exiting the hot spring to try to unlock the second hot springs. After that, I gave Thomas his request item. My eventful playing did not stop yesterday because day 92 was a hardcore mining day. Right now I really needed to unlock the third mine so I could get supplies for a maker barn so I could get a yarn maker and get Nina to make me a winter stocking. At the end of the month if you don't have a stocking you don't get a gift and I want a freaking gift so I'll endanger myself in the mines to do so. Don't judge my choices I already hate them enough. I started my day by buying the maker barn and now it was time to officially go in the mines. This was scarier than the skull mine, scarier than anything I've ever done before. And all while I did this, the calm winter music played like a spit in my eye. But then... We only need one more. I just need to find the staircase. Go away. Leave me alone. Come on. <gasps> we have to fight every single feral chicken that is on this level. Let's go. This is the lowest level of the mine. Good job. Everything has to die. Oh my god, what is in this rock? Last one. <gasps> Oh my god. Oh, the rock was moved. What is that? Is that a bomb? What's with this sword? Take the sword. What do you mean forget it? What kind of dumbass? Take the sword. <gasps> you can't use that sword yet. You should leave. If you want this sword, come back once you've gained more experience. <gasps> I can't wait to die. I was now angrier than I ever had been before, but hey, now I unlocked the third mine. And I found a fall sun, meaning when I get the basement, I can have a fall greenhouse. On day 93, I placed the maker shed. I still had to search for the material adamantine for the maker machines, which meant going back to the mines. I fought a duck, and then I fell down a hole, and I died. I obviously reloaded and finally got the supply I needed, and because I'm greedy, I tried to find more, and I died again. I woke up, bones aching, to the mayor bothering me, and stealing money from my pockets. That's right, if you pass out in this game, the person who saves you will rob you, and they call Sky a thief. I hired the sprites to fish for me, and when they reach a certain amount of fish caught, you can catch one yourself to unlock a sprite. So I did just that. Day 94 was my next sky scene. <laughs> this is the last part of it! What's up, Rubes? We just got a note from that thief. Oh! Here's what the note says. I'm to waltz into the inner inn at 12 midnight with love phantom sky ruby you're being way too casual about this yeah i mean this is a thief we're dealing with i say it's a perfect chance to catch him and get famous rock maybe you're right but how are we supposed to catch him we'll help you and rin just came in okay but do you think we should ask anyone else a plan seems like it would be useful for this sort of thing yeah we've got until midnight so let's make sure we come up with a good one yeah you guys do that i'm gonna run around and gather grass all day i'm late for my date that's okay it makes me seem less desperate <gasps> here we are here we are here we are here we are where is everyone hello it's the thief it's phantom sky run what is happening we can't let them catch him <gasps> oh i don't have much time tonight could you sort of look the other way are you kidding i never saw you you're going to jail <laughs> i never saw you I... <gasps> really you'll cover for me for a thief <laughs> yeah 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 i will <gasps> Much thanks, Ren. You're glowing with a vibrant beauty on this night. Look how done the, the I can't I can't even speak. He's leaving. Don't leave, baby. Don't go. Rin! Uh-oh. I need an excuse. Whoa! The whole town is here! Phantom Sky slipped right by us. We think he went this way. Did he? Nope. He left town. <laughs> but he couldn't have gotten too far. Well, maybe you went on over there. <laughs> it's really late. Time to go home and go to sleep. 
That's the scene. That's the last scene I get with Sky. I got some more adamantine in the mines today in hopes that I could also get myself a seed maker. Then I got a scene with Hugh about how he wants to beat Kate at rhyming. And of course I decided to help him because that little devil needs to be taken down. The maker shed was done on day 96 and I got a sprite. And every time I get one, I am awakened out of my stupor because holy crud craps. You think Stardew or freaking Dark Souls is hard? Try this game, because I still need 10 sprites to get married, and I don't and, and, and don't even get me started on having kids. And it's taken me nearly a year to finish this because my art can't take waiting any longer. Anyways, I paid for my yard maker and it was 20,000 gold. I was gonna get the basement, but I still needed a house upgrade, so of course I got that because I'm rich. I started my next morning off by downing some old grass from my refrigerator just so I could get a harvest sprite unlocked. The things I do for love. Gots was here to make my house bigger, and I asked if he wanted some lemonade while he worked, but I think maybe I got a little too close, so he said no. As I went to rehire my fishing sprites, I got a scene with Kate and Huey. The ultimate rematch of the rhyming battleists. It looks like this idiot has forgotten who he is. Kate! But Hugh put up a good fight this time. Until she pulled out Ape, and Hugh forgot every other rhyme. It's okay, Hugh. Without Rhyme Zone, I would be useless as well. The next day, Gots was still working on my house and still declined my offer for lemonade. Otherwise, it was a pretty simple day. Though I did freak out at Sky almost being at the next heart level. On day 99, I just worked at hitting branches and stones for a sprite and also got drunk on Moo Moo Milk. But we are so close to a red heart! It's the home stretch, y'all! And day 100. This is where, classically, we would stop the video. See how far we've come in 100 days. But I'm not doing it classically this time. I'm doing it to get married. I will get married in this video. And I will marry the thief of my childhood dreams and fantasies. And you will all like it and stay for as long as it takes to get married, even if that's another 100 days. I lifted my animals for, like, 5 minutes trying to get a sprite. It didn't work. And then I finally got the house upgrade. And the mayor helped me celebrate by breaking in to take my ball once again. There's more windows now, Thomas. More options. And then I let out an audible yes with a fist bump. I found another sprite for fishing! For day 100, I am very proud of how far I've come, especially considering that when I played this as a kid, I was on like year 3 and still didn't get as many sprites as I have now. And we got Sky to an orange heart! Only one more heart to go and 8 sprites. On day 101, the TV said because they had the big bed for sale. You know what that means? I'm just kidding. This is a Christian channel. We only support consummation after marriage. Just kidding. F that or f me rather. Okay. I need to chill. I got the yarn maker today too. So I went to give Nina yarn so she could make me a stocking. I lost the yarn. I, d I don't. Do I reload the day? Do I just jump off the nearest cliff? Don't push yourself too hard, she says. Do things in moderation. You mean like the moderation I put in for the yarn? But you know what? Maybe she's right. Maybe I'm taking this too fast. Too eager to get married and find the sprites and, I don't know, do what the game tells me I should do? I'm sorry. I'm being mean to this little sweet old lady, but holy crap! My large yarn just disappeared into the snow in front of me, and I think I have a right to be upset. But I, I just decided to make another and cry. I also wanted to get the basement, but it's, um, a lightweight amount of 400k gold? I called the supermarket to buy chocolate. And there was the blue feather. The blue feather, for those who don't know, is the pinnacle item for marriage. It is the mermaid pendant of the Harvest Moon universe. You need the blue feather to propose. And it's only a thousand gold. Though you can't put a price on love. Even though I'm not ready to marry Skye. Physically. Like, mentally I am, but the game won't let me. Mentally, I've been ready to marry Sky since I was like 12, but I bought the blue feather. I was having trouble on day 102 because my brain was short-circuiting at the fact that this quest to marry Sky has taken so long, but then I got a sprite from milking my cow! Yee <laughs> that night, I also bought the basement, even though it cost a literal fortune. Also, I finally gave Nina her yarn and she told me she'd make me a stocking. Day 103, the winter Thanksgiving day, a day for girls to give boys chocolates to show their affection. And today, I went around town giving every bachelor chocolates because I'm a slut. 
Plus, I got the big bed today and the mayor asked me, What do you plan to do with such a big bed? Maybe he wants to know if I'm harboring the thief sky in my bed. Which I most definitely would be if he consented, I'm not gonna lie. Instead, I'm harboring gots while he makes my basement. Do you need anything, gots? Some lemonade? The special kind? What, what the f- On day 104, my alcoholism and addiction to Moo Moo Milk finally paid off, and I got the Sprite. I threw my dog around on day 105, and honestly, this dog should probably be taken away because every morning since I learned that you can get a Sprite from picking up your animals, I have been throwing it around like the Wiggles throw around a hot potato. I started day 106 by once again asking Gots if he gots the thirst for my lemonade. He, he does not. And he really doesn't, and the basement is done, so he's leaving. But the reason I got the basement is so I can use it as a greenhouse, and he gave me one of the sun things that I need for it! That is so sweet, Gods! Oh my god, please take some lemonade for the road! No. I also got my seed maker on the same day, so I planted a ton of eggplant in the basement. That night I unlocked another fishing sprite and poked a booty. On day 107 I got yet another sprite, so only three more sprites needed. Not much to say about day 109 except that I did stuff. On day 110, my dog was literally hiding from me in the kitchen so I couldn't throw him around. I'm terrible, but I will be terrible and married soon. I ate some more grass today and unlocked another sprite, which meant I only needed two more sprites to get married. On day 111, I was trying to figure out how to get these last two sprites before the year ends. That was never really the goal, but now that I see it's possible, I'm making it the goal! Cause I make the rules around here. Less than a week to get married. I got this. I'm ready to be a bridezilla! I started day 112 as I normally do, doing chores and crushing- What? I didn't- Crushing animals? They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. That's a Freudian slip, I meant brushing. Right. But today wasn't a normal day because Sky isn't a normal man, and I had to prep for the Starry Night Festival. Before that, I went to the hot springs to not be literally dying from hitting rocks, and who do I see there? Gots! I was half naked, and Gots was just standing around in the literal woods. And when I went up to him to ask what he's doing here, Yo, I'm looking for something to eat. Oh, so now you want my lemonade. I'm also looking for some wood that I can use. It's like I'm a workaholic. <laughs> More like creepaholic. <laughs> I gotta save after making that terrible joke. Now, the Starry Night Festival is one where you have to ask someone to go with you the night before it happens. And because Sky is a strange man, I had to ask him after midnight on the night before. So it's confusing. But anyway, I did it. Looks like it's some kind of festival tomorrow! <laughs> I hear it's... A rather romantic festival too! Why don't we spend it together <laughs> at your place? Guy, I'm gonna need you to take a second or I'm gonna globber you up. What? Oh my god, we can't say that. Uh, so skinny dipping? No, why am I doing that? I'm looking forward to it. Relax. I won't steal anything. Oh! I'll come by at 6 p.m. Wait for me. He did not pull out the weight for me! On day 113, I mentally prepared myself for tomorrow night's festival. I did a mine run since Van was visiting town, and in a lot of ways, Sky and I are very similar. He's a thief, and I'm robbing Van blind by haggling him so much that he'd rather swallow his necklace hole than sit here for another 10 minutes setting a price with me. The day of the festival was here. I spent my time doing chores and throwing around pets, which is code for waiting for Sky. But while waiting around... What? Wait, what? I got Allie? What? The, the sprite Allie? Allie. Oh my god. You saved... I only need one sprite to get married. I can't believe this. Yo, my childhood dream... Get up, girl. My childhood dreams are coming true. I went around in a haze the rest of the day, doing chores and just waiting to see Sky that night. Ready? I'm waiting at the door. Once it turns six, I'm clicking it. Wait, what? Oh, oh, good evening. Can you let me in? Oh my god. Imagine he's like trying to climb through the window. Oh my god, I love him. <gasps> we waited just like you promised. Thank you. I'm glad. <laughs> By the way, isn't there anything to eat? Oh, did you forget? Don't worry about it. I bought my special curry mix just in case something like this happened. Is he gonna cook for me? I've got vegetables too. He bought food! 
cutest. Oh my god, this is the cutest thing ever. Let's make curry together. Then we can celebrate the festival afterwards. Oh my god, we're cooking. I really enjoyed spending the star festival with Sky. Now, on day 115, I had a bit of a dilemma. I had to get Sky to a red heart before the end of the year, and it was gonna snow tomorrow, meaning I wouldn't see him. I only had three-ish days to get him to a red heart and propose. It was gonna be close, but I had a feeling I could do it. I did my chores as usual, hoping that maybe I would get a sprite early, and I planned to cook finest curry for each night leading up to the proposal. But then, in a turn of events, it wasn't the fishing pole that got me the 60th sprite. It was me hitting a piece of lumber. Shut up, bitch. Pick it up. Oh, oh my god! I got it! I did it! Oh my god! I got it! I got it! I got it! I got it! What is Rin, thank you so much. I'll help you however I can. Oh my god! No way! Dum da da! Thank you so much, Rin. Come to the spring and make me an offering. What kind of offering are we talking about? I'm married! I'm almost married. Everybody, move out of my way. I'm about to make history. So you came. Oh, and I'll be doing a lot more of that harvest goddess. Winter 25th on a Tuesday. I saved her. And guess what's in here? It's a baby. I completely forgot. That's a baby harvest sprite. He disappeared when everyone else did. Mm, we're pretty busy at harvest spriting these days. No time, time, time. Ah, Rin, could you keep an eye on him for us and get to know him? Oh, and like all kids, I'm sure he'll warm up to you if you give him some presents. I made pudding for the baby sprite because the internet told me to. And with that good news, I knew it was time to get ready to propose to Sky. I put the blue feather in my pocket just in case the right moment came up. And today was the day. <gasps> oh, oh, my god. oh my god! Well, okay. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm giving him the finest curry. I'm walking with you, Sky. I'm walking with you to the goddess pond and I am proposing. Race you there. Last one there is a rotten blue feather. Sky, we've had some rough patches, but I have a question to ask you. <gasps> Are you gonna give your love to someone else, Rin? What? Lately, I don't care about my work anymore. Now when I'm by your side? Wait, what does that mean? I proposed, but he didn't say anything. I was, I was heartbroken. Sky didn't respond to my proposal. And when I thought there was supposed to be a scene, Thomas showed up for the winter festival, breaking into my house once more. At least I got a diamond, I guess. But it's nothing compared to Sky's love. On day 116, I was going through the motions. But that night, I slept with the blue feather in my tool slot just in case. And... <gasps> what? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! It's happening! There's a note here! Wait, what? Tonight, I'm gonna steal your heart away. Yours truly? <laughs> he was gonna steal my heart away? Babe, I'm rushing through chores! That night, I did what I used to do in the good old days. I waited by the bar until it was open like a bodyguard or bouncer, and then I headed over to where Sky usually enters. <gasps> Sky's not here! Sky's not here. Uh, that means I gotta go to bed. I'm not ready. Let's do it. <gasps> is that Phantom Sky? I don't know. Is it? Is it? Tell me. <gasps> He's wearing these. Oh my god, we're matching. We're both wearing red. Oh my god, we're such soulmates. Good evening, Rin. Give him your heart or don't give him squat. I'll give him a squat, all right. Stop it. Get some help. Give him your heart. Stealing the blue feather from maidens is my forte. Oh! You're really giving it to me? Yup. <coughs> Thanks. Oh! You know, I've been attracted to you since we first met! <laughs> As you should have been. Don't expect any less. I'm used to girls confessing their love for me, but I don't know how to do it myself. I was so afraid that... You might give your blue feather to somebody else. I would never. So I came here to steal it away from you. He was gonna take it from me. So that I couldn't be with anyone else. So that I... You know what? That's kind of fucked up. I'm not gonna lie. That's kind of messed up, Sky. But I get it. And now that you've given me the blue feather by your own will, I'm just so elated. <laughs> He's so messed up and I love him. What else can I say but yes? I want to spend the rest of my 
your life by your side. I'm gagged. I'm gagged. I'm gagging. I'm choking. I'm dead. Let's decide when to have the wedding on another day. Sweet dreams. Oh, I'm sleeping well tonight. I am engaged. This day and the rest were a blur. It was a festival tomorrow, I guess, but I don't know because that scene had me in a chokehold. Losing vision, breath shorted, eyes glazed over. The last day of winter was the noodle fest. I kind of like zoomed through it though because I just want to be married, okay? This is what I've been waiting for since I was a little nugget of a human. I was patient, but now I am no longer. I am having the shortest engagement of my life and I am owning that red flag proudly. <laughs> Happiest of happy new years. Today was apparently a rice cake festival, which sadly meant I was unable to see sky. But my wedding is marked on the calendar and official. Spring 5th, the day before my birthday. Poetic. Honestly, this love was meant to be. There were three days until the wedding. I set up crops and stuff for the season, and I was honestly so stressed and just wished Sky was there. Two days until the wedding. I literally just did chores and random things until I could see Sky. We're in the pre-honeymoon stage, the get a room stage, the stage where everyone averts their eyes from you in public because bro, stop reminding us we're lonely. One day until the wedding. Again, who cares about boring old chores when the man of the hour is gonna be the man of the wedding that is tomorrow aka the groom oh my god it's happening for real it's just the two of us our own private wedding that's actually so sweet i love that well let's get started as a thief i've got my share of secrets but i promise to love you as long as i live <gasps> your turn ran ah! i'm a no good thief but will you love me for as long as we both shall live I will a thousand percent. That is the cutest thing I've ever heard. Thank you. I love you. <gasps> oh, excuse me, you two. Congratulations on your marriage. You seem like wonderful newlyweds. I'll ring the bell for you. Oh, the bell has been rung. The bell has been rung. We're married. We're married. I This is, this is, this is a character development moment for me. It was the most heartwarming thing I had ever witnessed. And even better, I was a part of it. Now that we're married, let's use nicknames. Pookie, ew! I could easily do bitch ass or hottie, but you know what? This is my childhood dream, okay? I'm not gonna mess this up. Tomorrow begins our new life together. And for the last day of the video, I thought it made sense to see what life was like with Sky for at least one day extra, since we're already past the year anyway. So I did my normal chores, of course the eggplants are ready today, and I kept going back inside to see what Sky was up to, as you do in married life. He's sleeping like an angel. And I wasn't expecting much else, I just wanted to see his different dialogue at different times. And then, let's see if he makes me dinner. Oh my god! Wait, I was kidding! No way! Are you finished with work, Rin? I am now! This day's really special to me, so I cooked for us. Do you know what today is? Wedding anniversary, my birthday, Sky's birthday? Well, it's obviously my birthday. Yes, it's your birthday. Hey, there's a scene for your birthday? I've never had this before! Happy birthday. Thank you for being together with me. We've literally been married for one day, Sky. I put all of my love for you into this food. Ooh, I wanted to make you smile. Oh, you did! That was fun. I'll sleep well tonight. I have never been happier in my life. You're pathetic. And that's it. A whole year and six days in Harvest Moon DSQ. Fulfilling my childhood dream. I don't know if anyone truly cares to watch this video, to watch to the end, but I know that I care and my childhood self cares and that's all that really matters. Forget Me Not Valley is named appropriately because even though I played this game as a kid, I still remembered it so vividly to this day. The music, the characters, the maps, the frustration and the anguish and deliberate pain. It may not be the first ever Harvest Moon game, but it was one of mine, and that makes it so special. Nothing hits quite like nostalgia, and making this video let me relive the pockets of my childhood that I never got to fully fulfill. So thank you for watching me flail and squeal over a 2D character for probably over an hour. If you take anything from this video, I hope that it's that 
I am a hopeless romantic. And I wouldn't have it any other way. And I will be making it through Merry Life with Sky, whether you like it or not. Buckle up, thief husband. We've got a lot more years to go.